Hello Year 7, my name is Miss Palmer and I'm the leader of English here at Worthing High School and I'm going to be finishing Wonder today with you, so reading pages 305 to 310. Okay, this chapter is called Floating. People started applauding before Mr Tushman's words actually registered in my brain. I heard Maya, who was next to me, give a little happy scream when she heard my name and Miles, who was on the other side of me, patted my back. Stand up! Get up! Ought said kids all around me, and I felt lots of hands pushing me upward out of my seat, guiding me to the edge of the row, patting my back, high-fiving me. Way to go, Augie! Nice going, Augie! I even started hearing my name being chanted. Augie! 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 I looked back and saw Jack leading the chant, fist in the air, smiling and signalling for me to keep going, and Amos shouting through his hands, Woohoo, little dude! Then I saw Summer smiling as I walked past her row, and when she saw me look at her, she gave me a little secret thumbs up and mouthed a silent, Cool beans, to me. I laughed and shook my head, like I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I think I was smiling. Maybe I was beaming. I don't know. As I walked up the aisle toward the stage, all I saw was a blur of happy bright faces looking at me and hands clapping for me. And I heard people yelling things out at me. You deserve it, Augie. Good for you, Augie. I saw all my teachers in the aisle seats, Mr Brown and Miss Petso Petosa and Mr Roche and Mr Antanabi and Nurse Molly and all the others and they were cheering for me, woohooing and whistling. I felt like I was floating. It was so weird, like the sun was shining full force on my face and the wind was blowing. As I got closer to the stage, I saw Miss Reuben waving at me in the front row. And then next to her was Mrs G, who was crying hysterically. A happy crying, smiling and clapping the whole time. And as I walked up the steps to the stage, the most amazing thing happened. Everyone started standing up. Not just the front rows, but the whole audience suddenly got up on their feet, whooping, hollering and clapping like crazy. It was a standing ovation for me. I walked across the stage to Mr Tushman, who shook my hand with both his hands and whispered in my ear, Well done, Augie. Then he placed the gold medal over my head, just like they do in the Olympics, and had me turn to face the audience. It felt like I was watching myself in a movie almost, like I was someone else. It was like that last scene in Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope when Luke Skywalker, Han Solo and Chewbacca are being applauded for destroying the Death Star. I could almost hear the Star Wars theme music playing in my head as I stood on the stage. I wasn't even sure why I was getting this medal really. No. That's not true. I knew why. It's like people you see sometimes and you can't imagine what it would be like to be that person. Whether it's somebody in a wheelchair or somebody who can't talk. Only I know that I'm that person to other people. Maybe to every single person in that whole auditorium. To me though, I'm just me an ordinary kid. But hey, if they want to give me a medal for being me, that's okay, I'll take it. I didn't destroy a Death Star or anything like that, but I did just get through the fifth grade. And that's not easy, even if you're not me. This next chapter is called Pictures. Afterward, there was a reception for the fifth and sixth graders under a huge white tent in the back of the school. All the kids found their parents 
and I didn't mind at all when mum and dad hugged me like crazy, or when Via wrapped her arms around me and swung me left and right about 20 times. Then Papa and Tata hugged me, and Aunt Kate and Uncle Poe and Uncle Ben, everyone kind of teary-eyed and wet-cheeked. But Miranda was the funniest. She was crying more than anyone and squeezed me so tight that Via had to practically pry her off me, which made them both laugh. Everyone started taking pictures of me and pulling out their flips. And then Dad got me, Summer and Jack together for a group shot. We put our arms around each other's shoulders and for the first time I can remember, I wasn't even thinking about my face. I was just smiling, a big, fat, happy smile for all the different cameras clicking away at me. Flash, flash, click, click. Smiling away as Jack's parents and Summer's mum started clicking. Then Reed and Maya came over, flash, flash, click, click. And then Charlotte came over and asked if she could take a picture with us. And we were like, sure, of course. And then Charlotte's parents were snapping away at our little group along with everyone else's parents. And the next thing I knew, the two Maxids had come over and Henry and Miles and Savannah. Then Amos came over and Zemia. And then we were all in this big tight huddle as parents clicked away like we were on a red carpet somewhere. Luca, Isaiah, Nino, Pablo, Tristan, Ellie. I lost track of who else came over. Everybody practically. All I knew for sure is that we were all laughing and squeezing in tight against each other. And no one seemed to care if it was my face that was next to theirs or not. In fact, and I don't mean to brag here, but it kind of felt like everyone wanted to get close to me. This chapter is called The Walk Home. We walked to our house for cake and ice cream after the reception. Jack and his parents and his little brother Jamie, Summer and her mother, Uncle Poe and Aunt Kate, Uncle Ben, Tata and Papa. Justin and Vera and Miranda, Mum and Dad. It was one of those great June days when the sky is completely blue and the sun is shining, but it isn't so hot that you wish you were on the beach instead. It was just the perfect day. Everyone was happy. I felt like I was floating, the Star Wars hero music in my head. I walked with Summer and Jack and we just couldn't stop cracking up. Everything made us laugh. We're in that giggly kind of mood where all someone has to do is look at you when you start laughing. I heard Dad's voice up ahead and looked up. He was telling everyone a funny story as they walked down Ainsfort Avenue. The grown-ups were all laughing too. It was like Mum always said, Dad could be a comedian. I noticed Mum wasn't walking with the group of grown-ups, so I looked behind me. She was hanging back a bit, smiling to herself like she was thinking of something sweet. She seemed happy. I took a few steps back and surprised her by hugging her as she walked. She put her arm around me and gave me a squeeze. Thank you for making me go to school, I said quietly. She hugged me close and leaned, and leaned down and kissed the top of my head. Thank you, Augie, she said softly. For what? For everything you've given us, she said. For coming into our lives, for being you. She bent down and whispered in my ear, you really are a wonder, Augie. You are a wonder. And that is the end of wonder. So I really hope that you have enjoyed reading along with the teachers at Worthing High 
and I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say we look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you.